Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and if you see my lights go off, don't be concerned. We're having a pretty major storm coming through right now, and the lights have been flickering. The video will go on because it runs off of batteries, but my overhead lights won't, so I may have to cut the video off if we can't see, because it's pretty dark outside right now. I got quite a few of these sent to me the other day in a... I had made a purchase and then I think Veronica went ahead and sent these to me in my purchase. So these are library cards and she made them out of her coffee dyed paper. I'm going to decorate some of these but I wanted to make a few too. I've got some different scraps and book pages and things here that I thought we would use and make some maybe different sizes to go in some journals and we might make them, let's see, we might make a lot of them. I don't know. I was trying to say we'll make a lot of them just neutral, but who knows what we'll do. I've got a piece of Veronica's coffee dyed paper here, and I've measured hers to see how I wanted to make it. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to cut on the long side, but I'm going to cut it four inches. So I need to cut first. I started scoring, but I don't need to score first. I need to cut first. I need to cut it at four inches. The long way. Now I don't think I'm gonna make the back of mine exactly as tall as hers. I'll make it a little bit shorter hopefully. We'll see. Yeah there's four inches. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score. I think she scored at let's see. Uh, she scored at three eighths. Starts out I'm gonna score at three eighths but I think she scored at a half but she didn't. I'm gonna score at three eighths on both sides all the way down and I need to use this one this end and this is one of our journal tools it's, it comes in a three pack and it's a, like a scoring tool on both, end, both ends I can't talk today blah, blah, blah. okay then she folded up at two and a half I do believe I'm gonna look at it again since I've had the storm come through yes two and a half so I'm gonna put another score line right there all right so that's our two and a half but you see how tall this back's gonna be now hers is, is yeah no hers is not quite that tall so what I'm gonna do I think no, I thought about folding this down some, but I don't think I'm going to do that because I'd rather have this show or cover that. So I think I'm just going to cut mine off to, let's see, if I cut it off at six, that should give us enough. Mm, let's see. Let's cut it off at five and a half and see what we got. Hopefully that won't be too short. Five and a half. So my paper is cut four by five and a half. And then I have scored at three eighths an inch on both sides. Now you could score at one half if you wanted to. Just if you don't want to do the three eighths. But three eighths is just a little notch right before one half. Oops. I tell you what, I've got the heavy hand today. I just got through tearing that paper. That's pretty good. All right, that looks like it'll be good. Now we don't need this top part up here. We don't need that. You could go ahead and fold it over if you wanted. Hmm. Let me think. We might do that. These we do need to cut them out a little bit, and that's where I. I pressed a little bit too hard on my scoring and I've got a tear there but we'll repair it no problem and then down here on this end I just want to clip that off a little bit to keep it from showing when we fold it now we could fold these over and glue and then we could put something else here so let's let's try to put something else there what are we gonna put let's come up with something oh I've got all kinds of scrappies over here um, um, um what would a little piece of this look like in there that might work just tear us off a piece of this we shall see i 
and then fold that over fold that up I kind of like that what do you think think that'll work or do we need something a little brighter what about we've got I've got some of my paper here my this is the vintage letters I do believe I always use some of that I'll make it a little bit brighter I'm just guessing at where to, to tear it I may tear it too narrow too short I don't know but all it has to do is just go in behind that so that'll work oh, I would like that I'm gonna do that one on this okay so first off we need to glue this little piece of paper down now I had somebody the other day and it's rosemary rosemary or rosemary or rosemary I don't know which she says but she said that she was worried about me that I sounded really out of breath and uh, that I didn't need to do a video every day that I needed to take off and take care of myself I appreciate the the thoughts and the prayers and everything else um I really do and I'm doing good I am I did go to the doctor and everything was fine I'm just having a rough time with my allergies so when it's real humid I have a really hard time breathing the the allergies just kick in and it's just hard for me to get my breath plus you know I'm overweight I mean that doesn't help any so I really do appreciate you guys but please don't worry about me please don't my kids make sure that I take care of myself and that I go to the doctor when I'm supposed to and if I don't they get mad at me <laughs> and they make me go so I, I am good believe me I wouldn't be doing videos if I wasn't but the thing of it is I love doing videos I love it I love talking to you guys because it gives me company um, I think I just like talking to you better than I do videos but I like to do something you know with my hands while I'm talking to you but just please don't worry about me I'm good I really am I promise my kids promise we are gonna take a real short out-of-town trip next week the kids are singing again in Georgia not next week we'll be leaving this Friday as a matter of fact but I'll be I won't be back until leave Friday and I won't be back until Wednesday but it's for me it's just gonna be R&R &R. I mean they're gonna have to do singing and traveling and that kind of thing but I, we've got a cabin over there and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rest that's all I'm gonna do we don't own a cabin over there that's not what I was saying <laughs> we rented a cabin over there so I'm just gonna pile up and rest those days you may see a video from me on those days but it'll be a pre-recorded one it won't be one that I've done unless I just take a notion to t go out and show you the scenery from the Blue Ridge Mountains I might do that now this is cracked a little bit right here on the bottom but I'm really I don't think I'm gonna worry about it I think it's gonna be okay so I'm gonna grab a card now I've got some of these cards and I don't particular particularly like them number one they're very very thick and then they're white so I'm these I'll coffee dye later on but I'm gonna make a template for this and I'll just design a template myself and it'll probably be our Friday freebie I think I might put that in in the Friday freebie but yeah that fits perfect in there so I'd rather have the you know a darker color and I love that now we can put a little piece of this down here maybe more of the writing Ooh, I just like it looks like it goes pretty good I'm gonna tear it there but yes I am taking care of myself I promise there are days like all weekend I didn't feel really great I had a little bit of a stomach bug I think or maybe it was just my IBS or who knows what I ate something wrong I don't know but so I just laid around all weekend I didn't do anything other than I did clean my oven and clean the uh, washer 
with my washing machine and I what else did I do I washed a load of clothes and that was it and the rest of the time I just laid around in my recliner so I am resting I am but you also have to realize that not only do I do these because I like talking to you guys and it gives me company but I make a little bit of money off of these videos especially when you click the ads and things I make a little bit of money off of them and that money pays for my car payment and my groceries so I have to work I have to keep working and I like to work I like to stay busy I don't like not being busy okay I think I'm gonna put that right there you hear all that thunder rumbling out there it is which it's blown over now I think mostly but it's still pretty rough it's like I got that little crooked oh, I don't know if it'll move now now I'm gonna put a little label on there just a little label what about but I don't want you guys worrying about me you've got more important things to do than worry about this old girl let me just put that there so let's ink it up a little bit Ooh, my lights are flashing again I'm hoping they don't go out again they went out just as I started the video a little while ago so I stopped it because I had just turned the camera on so I just went ahead and stopped it but who knows if they're gonna go out again my, my power usually goes out at least once a month that's just I think where I live and they don't have a large enough substation over here so okay I don't know what I want to put up there if I want to put anything so right now I'm just gonna leave it like that I love that and see you could journal on the back too if you wanted to I love it all right we're gonna make another and I think this time let's see if I've got any paper that so we can't really hmm we could go this way I'm thinking I don't know by the time we turn two and a half inches up yeah I think we'll have enough okay let's do this so if you've got some scrap paper even if it's scrapbook paper then go ahead and use it on this so we need to cut this four inches wide and this all of my digitals will be linked below the video all you have to do is click on show more or if you're on an iphone just a little arrow over here click on that and you'll be able to see all of our digitals the link to all of our digitals i should say all right let's do this at two and a half the only thing about this is i'm gonna that is going to let's see okay i'm thinking about what i want to do to this because I, I hate to lose all of this at the bottom so let me go ahead and score don't want to lose all of that i have no idea if i scored in the right place or not this one may be too narrow Let's see if a card's going to work in there first before we even go. Yeah, it will. Okay. I'm thinking what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to cut this off so that I can turn it around. Ugh, we'll see. Because I don't want to lose that, oh, that floral down there at the bottom. See, then we can turn it around like this and put it on. Okay, again, I think I'm just going to glue these side pieces down. Well, this one's a little wider than that one, so I may need to do a little adjust in here. I'm just going to trim a tiny bit of it off. Just so it'll look 
like it matches. Yeah, that'll work. So if you have a piece that you, you don't want to fold up and lose, you know, your floral arrangement or whatever is on the bottom, just go ahead and cut it and turn it around. That'll work. So what about if we put that up there? Oh yeah, I like that. And it's the perfect size. I don't know which is up and which is down, but we're just going to glue it like this. And you don't have to do this. If you've got a double-sided paper, then just go ahead and use your double-sided paper and you won't have to put anything in here. But I didn't want the white to show. And I didn't want to print on the back of these just to do this. So that's what we're doing. As my son-in-law says, that's what it do. He just kills me saying that. Aaron was saying it today. I said, I was saying, oh, Aaron, you're doing a good job. He said, that's what it do. <laughs> he said, I'm like Benji. Okay. Now, that will fold around there. I'm going to have to adjust this side just a little bit. This may seem like a big overkill to you guys, but, you know, to use your scraps up, and like I said, you can even use your scrapbook paper, then to me, it's worth it. I love that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So, see, I didn't lose all my floral pieces, and I think that's the right way up. So, let's glue that around. Now, on the back, you do have more of the flowers and on in that case on this one what I would do is just clip this one on so it could be seen for the back side too I wouldn't glue it down I'm leaving my scoreboard here and I'm getting glue all over it and I'll regret that when I start cleaning it but we're not going to worry about it right now. Now, I should have put glue down there at the bottom. Tell me, people. you got to tell me. There we go. Glue on the bottom. All right. And I see a little white up there, so I'm going to trim a little bit of that off at the top. I could ink it, but I'm just going to trim it. And then I want to round the corners. You don't have to. You can leave them straight. You can um, square them off. You can do whatever. It's just what I wanted to do. Oh, I like that. And I don't put a little pull thing in mine like this. I just leave it. Now, I want to put something on here. I like that one okay. Just a little label. Yeah, I think the storm has finally blown over. I was beginning to think some of my crepe myrtle bushes was going to come down. They were really whipping. There we go. I like that one too. Make sure that the card fits in it. It'll be, which if, if it doesn't, I can just trim it down. Trim the card down. Ooh barely it's a tight fit but it will I would trim the card down that went in that one now I've got some of this paper and I can't remember I think this is from Lynn arts design on Etsy I believe I've used the whole kit this is the only piece that I didn't use and it's actually turned up the right way that I want to use it right now so Whoops, didn't do that very well. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, so are we going to cut this off at, I think I want, let me see. I think I want this flower in there. Now I'll tell you what we could do since this is a very thin paper. This was just printed on regular, regular copy paper. We could fold it together and make it a little thicker. Let's see what that, what size that would be. I don't know after tearing off the edges would it be wide enough. No, it's not quite wide enough to do that. But we could make a smaller card with it. Let's just do that. Not a biggie, is it? We can always adjust our journal cards. I mean, our library cards, we can always adjust them and make some of them smaller before we print them out. I just like using up some of the papers that's been laying in my stash for a while. Now, I in no way folded that exactly straight, but that's okay. I probably didn't trim it straight either. So what we'll do is we'll just adjust it. Now I'm going to go ahead and see where I want my fold. I might actually want this one a little deeper. Hmm. Let's see. We well, we do have almost four. All right, I'm going to trim the top off a little bit. And then we're going to score this, and I'm not going to score at three eighths. I'm going to score at a quarter. And see if we can make this wide enough. It's going to be a very, very little score, a little side score line, but maybe we can work it out. I'm going to flip it around. Okay. And then we want this to come up this way, so let's score this at two and a half. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. If not, we can always close it up with some washi. I actually think this is going to work. Okay. And then we will fold that one up. Alright, now on this one, I'm going to cut these pieces off. because we don't need them and I don't want to try to fold them over because they're pretty small. Now I know we've got a dragonfly flying upside down, but I think they actually do fly upside down sometimes. So we're going to let him do his thing, or her, him or her. So that'll go there, that'll go there. Yeah, I don't mind that. Maybe still a little bit tall. I think I might trim it off a little bit more. And this is absolutely Make It Monday because we're making it up as we go. I don't even know if I said welcome to Make It Monday. I got to talking about the weather. Yeah, I like that. And I think it's going to work. Yes, works perfect. Now, I didn't ink that, and I'm going to go back and ink it. So I do have a little bit of white showing, and I think I actually went a little crooked, but, you know, that's the way it rolls around here. We're either crooked or upside down, one or the other. 
So now let's see if we can come up with a label or something to go on here. Now if you don't particularly like that dragonfly flying upside down, you can cover it. I'm not going to worry about him. So I think I put this label on and it says pollinate and it is one of Tracy Fox labels. I think it's just like one of her nature labels or random labels. I don't remember. Okay, and then I saw this laying on my desk and I thought, hmm, I might rather have that like that as to have that little upside down dragonfly. So I th think we're going to put that there. I just need to see if I can get it straighter than most things that I put down. That's pretty good. So there is another one. I think I'm going to make one more, and I'm going to make this out of vellum. I had this piece just laying there, and it is four inches wide, and it is eight and a half long. So we're going to see if we can make one out of this. Now I'm going to score, I'm going to use that big ball, because if you don't, it'll your score tool will go right straight through your vellum. We'll score it three eighths on both sides. I'm just going to flip it around and do it. Sometimes it's easier. Okay, I need to go over that one again. All right, now let's see. Hopefully you don't mind seeing my scoreboard laying here in the screen. It's easier to do that than to have to put it up and down, up and down. And I just work right on top of it. Now the thing about vellum, or at least this vellum, this is a very strong vellum. It's what we sell in the store. I printed on this. This is one of my kits. Is once you fold it, those folds are there. <laughs> they are there. Now we're going to score it at two and a half crosswise. So then we'll fold that up. See if we can get that anywhere near straight. My life in straight just don't work these days. There we go. Okay, now what I think I shall do, let me think about this a second. Um, I'm going to leave these pieces on just because I like the finished look of them. I'm going to go ahead and round my corners before I do any glue in or anything. Now you can see through that a little bit, so I don't know that I even want to cover it and put anything else there. Because if you actually have this glued down to a page, let me find a solid page here, then it would show through like that. So I don't think I'm even going to cover any of that. I am going to glue this down though because I don't want it coming up when it gets in our journal. So I'm just going to run a little glue down through there, turn it around. I'm going to open up these little pieces. Should have done that before I glued it down, but oh well. And then we'll pull that around. that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ink this right here before I glue it down. I 
and then put some glue on both of those. So there is that one and let's go ahead and ink it. I like my vellum inked. And we may put a little label there and I think that might be all that I do to that because I don't want to cover any of this unless, well I like that though, I will put that on there. This is one of Tina's labels and then we'll put something up there I think we might just put that down maybe here and cut the extra part off because I don't want to I don't want to use the, all of it and I don't want to fold it around I'll use that other part somewhere else We've still got some rumbling. There we go. I think that might be all that I do that. I like that because you'll have your card in there. And we'll make, I'm going to make some different color cards. Not just brown. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so that is it. I think that's all I'm going to have time to do today. But, you know, we made four. And then I've got the potential to make many, many more. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.